All right, let's look at this. So, getting a preview of tomorrow's Kickstarter for Chain Monsters. All right, so 10,000 euros. I almost said pounds, but euros. Uh, gold. 30 days. All right. So, 48-hour bonus back in the first 48. So, let's just go through. 48-hour um, bonus back in the first 48 hours to receive a ferry ticket to a mysterious island as a bonus. This grants you time-exclusive access to a place that won't be accessible for anyone else until after launch and enables you to ca collect, uh, capture a particular unique Chainmon first. If you're uh, the Voyager tier or higher, which includes this already, you get an extra ticket that you can share with another player. Hmm. Chain Monsters in, yep, MMO, catch, battle, trade, explore, and combine different types of monsters. Oh, I, I was thinking, like, combine, like, literally, like, got tight, kind of deal. Uh, gameplay centers around a new... Eh, it's almost, no. Okay. Uh, gameplay centers on a new and improved battle system, the cross-platform multiplayer, which allows you to connect with your friends and venture across the world, the world and Korra on Korra. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Chain Monsters is a beautiful marriage of our favorite Game Boy and SNES video games, connected with the real-time player and high-bit Studio Ghibli-inspired art style. Yes. You know, um, I like your. Uh, the backgrounds for the battles absolutely uh 100 freaking percent love them fixing this okay oh i like that that definitely reminds me you know um princess uh, mononoke uh this half reminds me of the village that he comes up on you know uh of course they're being attacked but still reminds me of the village he comes up on. Taking inspiration from classic monster catching RPGs, we have added unique twists and mechanics that improve the genre, and thanks to flow blockchain integration, ooh, makes your progress chain mons. Oh, I see. Items and inventory fully available on blockchain. This is actually pretty freaking cool use of blockchain. Uh, I've been a fan since like 2012. Almost bought Bitcoin when it was 20 bucks and because I didn't have a credit card at the time, uh, and it wasn't like you had exchanges that kind of didn't work out, and I hated myself afterwards. But um, I love blockchain stuff. Flow blockchain. Um, key features. So let's go. Massive multiplayer allows you to join friends on an epic journey and complete quests uh, and dungeons. Okay, awesome. It'll be dungeons. Um, Cross-platform play. Over 135 unique chain mons diverse traits types and abilities combined into multiple squads okay so we'll be able to different you'll be able to make different squads uh story-based campaign join the incorp agents and discover the cause of mysterious anomalies that are affecting the whole content and continent so incorp uh to challenge those that are eager to dive deep into the world and defeat special raid bosses the altar visuals but also gameplay elements i'm interested in that uh I've been in love with the idea of that since, you know, uh, gold, silver, and crystal. Flow blockchain integration. Every chain mon item and cosmetic can be traded both inside and outside the game itself. Outside? I guess that's through the blockchain that you can, since it's on the blockchain, or the flow blockchain, I guess you can technically, like, trade even outside. I like that. Full customization allows you to truly become your avatar and gain access to more cosmetics over time. Um, multiplayer cross-platform demo features the first time game area or the very first very first game area consisting of multiple locations of 36 chain mons NPCs and player versus player multiplayer gameplay uh, oh one second guys alright try to or someone did not disturb me. The demo uses 2D characters as a as player model and NPCs, but in the full game, both the player what the demo uses 2D characters as a player model and NPCs, but in the full game, both the player and NPCs are using high quality 3D models that can be fully customized and allow for a high variety of different appearances. Freaking love that! It's available on Steam, available on App Store. Get on full play. Uh, are you able to catch all the chain mons? Instagram. Release. Okay, our release schedule. I'm just going from top down. 
We're gonna look at the pledges later on. Um. Okay. The next gen consoles are right around the corner, and in order to allow as many players as possible to experience the game, we are making chain monsters available on current and future consoles. Closed Alpha will be exclusive to Steam, iOS, and Android shortly after the Kickstarter is over. Localization is already available in uh, or available with work in progress translations in English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. Additionally, additionally we're able to uh, we enable community-based translations. I like that. So let's go to the story. As long or as part of the story, you're joining Incorp to research and identify the chain mons living alongside humans in Ankora. The behavior of ch wild chain mons seem to be uh, to have been affected by a mysterious new source, and Incorp agents are equipped with state-of-the-art scanning technology to find and report anomalies in the wild. I like this. Uh, Incorp research is essential for our understanding, and over the years they have built testing facilities all over the world. The world is massive, and there are hundreds of new recruits assigned the same goal. Even though the task is for the greater good, there is a natural competition in an organization to climb ranks, so not everyone you encounter will be friendly. World. Encore is divided into eight islands, each with a unique style, twists, and mechanics. Okay. Okay. Um, luckily, each Encore agent has a fast travel system in their backpack that allows you to teleport to previously visited time, uh, places and friends anytime. I like that. Um, Unless I'm just doing like an intense or like a nuzlocke or something like that playthrough, it's always been bothersome. Um, especially if you only have walking on you know, like a run feature, always bothersome to trick all the way back through. But the abyss, a large crystallized structure, is placed inside the middle of Encore. It illuminates the whole area, and legends are told that uh, there used to be way deep inside. Of, uh, are told that there used to be a way deep inside it into the cr world's crust. A way deep inside it into the world's crust. I don't know why I struggled with thinking of that. Anomalies are appearing everywhere. Some props, things like that. I like that. Across the sea, lays the firelands. What used to be in an uninhabitable area has been taken uh, over by especially exotic chain mons that can wield the power of the flames like no other. Battles are impactful and follow the rules of easy to learn, hard to master. I love, you know, simple rules. Best way to go. Uh, assembling the right squad using a mix of specialists and other archetypes give you an a advantage in the competitive scene. Prepare your next move carefully in turn-based battles and always keep an eye out for status effects and resources. And of course, you also have the time, which I love the time. They give you in wild battles. I love that. Um, ability points. Similar to other stats, each chain one has ability points. Also, oh, not attack points, but ability points. They're used in battle. Each ba ability comes with a cost, and once your APs are, dele are depleted, you need to rest for a turn to recover. The recovery amount is influenced by other stats, traits, and even items. Environment effects. Depending on the battle arena, uh, weather, day, night, location, special event, battles can uh, happen or can change. Some abilities affect environment uh, conditions temporarily as well. So abilities. I know it's maybe a long page, but we're going to get through it. Um, I'm, I'm going to put this up as a different video. So if you're watching this, probably not through stream. It's probably <laughs> through the video. But um, every few levels of chain mons will learn. Uh, every few levels of your chain mons will learn new abilities. Although only four abilities can be active anytime. You can dynamically change your chain mons powers outside of battle allowing you to surprise your next opponent so flamethrower 6 ap which is actually different so far uh because it's been i think all of them's been four yeah so far it's only been four um so there's a therion or therian burbro See competitive design. No, oh, we're finally getting to the sense. We love and hate RNG at the same time. 
Then the story and PVE fights, a fair bit of randomness creates exciting and sometimes funny experiences. But during official tournaments and, la and leaderboard play, the, ba the battles will take place in a closed arena where the least amount of RNG will happen. And thank God for that. RNG some bull crap. Uh, when I mean, casually it can be frustrating, but competitively, I'm, I've always thought, why is that even in there? You know? I understand some games, but come on. Player-driven economy. The game is built with flow blockchain integration that allows you to truly own your inventory in progress. Chain mons, items, cosmetics, and rewards are all tokenized, which enables you to trade with those other players directly in-game or outside of it you are in charge. So read more about flow. So they'll have a thing you can read about flow here. Uh, play during closed alpha and beta grants you preseason pass which allows you to earn exclusive rewards while helping us test the game. You don't necessarily need to play in order to be eligible for most of these items however. Uh, we will host a preseason tournament. I hope to be a part of that. And global events that require you to participate. Winners will receive prizes in the form of Voyager first, Collector second, and Alpha Agent is third among others. Some mechanics. Each chain mon has certain uh, stats, traits, mutations, and values Okay, that are given on birth or when caught that influence their behavior inside and outside battle. In outside the battle. Okay. Ah, so we do have a chain. And we do have a top thing. Each chain mon and every ability has a specific top attached to the influence uh, that influences the effectiveness against opponents. A chain mon has up to two tops. And they have a strong impact on battles. So I'm guessing some chain mon can have one top. But you have normal fighting, flying, poison, ground, rock, bug, ghost, steel, fire, water, grass, electric, psychic, ice, dragon, dark, fairy, and crystal. Let's see, so this is attacking. I want to see. So. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So this is poison. I do have a poison type. Yep. Traits are redefining, adjusting, and optimizing almost every mechanic in game. From gaining more experience in battles to passive effects like shocking po opponents when being attacked to increased critical chances. Traits are designed just as unique and powerful as each individual chain mon. Mutations. Mutations are developing over time when your chain mons get exposed to certain game area specific monster types and items. These temporary special effects. Can be blessing or a blessing or a curse and can either be cured in specific locations or actually become a permanent part of what makes your chain mons special and unique so certain areas spe specific monster types and items i that's freaking awesome so no base stats base stats are gone but base base stats are gone which makes it possible to take your favorite chain mon in the game and make it competitive in traditional games, only a handful of mons are being, a, or being played on a competitive level. With this major change, we are countering this issue and can support a much wider and unique competitive scene instead of different base stats. The connection to the player, the individual values, and the effort to put each chain on makes them unique and increases their strength. Uh, I'm guessing that obviously evolutions are still being more powerful than their you know, pre-evolutions. But I like the idea of no base stats. I mean, I'm okay with base stats, but I like the idea of no base stats. You know, uh, there, there's certain Pokemon that just was like, oh, I love you, but you suck. You know? Or even some, in some Digimon game, it's like, oh, I love you, but you suck. <laughs> I have to pick someone else. Um, bonding system. The relationship between you and your chain mon plays a huge role. Think of them more like friends and less like stats on a graph. When trading with other plays, players, you may need to take care of them before they can unleash their full potential. I like that idea. Uh, you um, you unlock special interaction systems from time to time, and yes, you can pet your chain mons. That's how we do it. What? Okay. Normal. The default variation. Shadow, an extremely rare variation with a special alternate color. This can only occur once out of every 8,000-ish chain mons. Crystal, true collector. 
additions of the three starters, including their evolutions, that only exist 600 times in total? Wait, what? So there will only ever be 600. Oh, this could be crazy. Because that includes our evolutions, I'm guessing. And obviously not 600 of each. So including, I'm guessing it's like 600 of that. Um, and in, the whole set would include their, its evolution. So I'm guessing. Um, the breeding, yes. It, it, this will... Yep, 600. Freaking awesome. Um, and I like the idea of breeding and uh, playing in there with uh, no base stats and mutations. With the game being part of a, mo a massive multiplayer online world, with trading between players, breeding is a difficult design task. A newborn Chainmon inherits some of the stats of their parents, but also mutates completely new sets of traits. Over time, new mutations will be discovered and incentivize players to mix and match Chainmons together. Parents can only breed so many times before it's no longer effective. Holy crap. That's awesome. If you're looking for the perfect state of Chainmon with the best currently available mutations, then you will need to experiment to succeed. I like this idea of making it a little bit more difficult. It's not like crazy stupid, you know, but I like the idea. You can't just keep spitting out eggs or little guys, you know. Music. Mmm. Okay. Let me do this. Let's focus on the... On this. <laughs> um, Chain Monsters combine retro-style chiptune sounds with modern future pop tracks. Composed by David J. Franco. Acclaimed video game composer and game designer for more than 15 years. Responsible for music titles and such as uh, Scribble Knots. I like that. Drawn to Life in Super Mash. So this is... The Welcome Home theme, which actually is what we've been listening to uh, this whole time in the background. A little bit louder, but that's fine. And then Chainmon Dungeon track example. Okay, I like this. This is like perfect. Like you're walking in a dungeon. This is the kind of music I want to hear, especially since you're trying to combine with what you said, uh, Game Boy Advance and SNES. Like it's got a retro feel to it, and it feels feels like I'm in somewhere big. Oh, this is freaking... This is extremely nice. This blows out of the water so many other games. Yeah, I freaking... I really like that. There's some, like... You know, big studio games that do not have that good of soundtracks and especially among indie games it's freaking awesome it's amazing I, I really like that uh made it feel like it i should be in a dungeon i'm guessing this is gonna be a chain mon in a dungeon maybe a raid boss or a dungeon boss we are putting a lot of focus on community events and one of these examples are public raids joined together with hundreds of other players oh holy crap see that's one thing i, I liked wow i like this <laughs> Okay, um, one second. Hopefully you all are not hearing a stupid thing. Anyways, uh, housing. Eventually you will find yourself settling down from exploring and battling and get yourself a nice little house in one of the main cities. You will unlock more and more customization based on your progress in the story and participation in events. So pretty much the house that we walked into, besides the bed right here, which I guess is actually going to be upstairs, uh, is like the kind of layout you know 
like its default layout of what your house will be. All right. So, global community quests. Special global quests and events will pop up that requires you to join forces with your friends and foes to tackle enemies on a global scale. These special events require a percentage of community to achieve certain tasks. If you succeed, everyone unlocks rewards. Progress achieved together will impact the following events drastically. So, you also have blockchain, blockchain integration. The world of chain mons is running on traditional high-performance game servers, but the chain mons items and unlockable things in-game are on flow. This is a new technology that allows you to truly own your progress and opens up the game to many third-party experiences over time. I, I like the idea of this. Um, interested in this. While we managed to work on the core game mechanics for the last three years, there's still, it's t I know it takes forever to do it. Um, I, yeah, uh, takes so long. And, see, high performance if you play on nearby servers. <laughs> uh, yes, and that's Cinetech, one of the devs. Um, that's true. Um, you know, uh, at some point, if you want to do an interview, I would love to do an interview with you. Or one of the devs in general would be awesome. Uh, but while we managed to work on the core game mechanics for the last three years, okay, we have some funding and support from our partner Flow. Chain Monsters is happening. With your help, we can increase our development budget and bring in more amazing features and mechanics. We not only see your uh, your help, or seek your help in for uh, funding. We actively want to shape this game into something that we can all enjoy together. We want. Oh, what's happening? Uh, we. <laughs> We want to continue opening our development processes and let you participate actively in various designs and gameplay choices. The next immediate step is to create the first alpha that includes two major areas of the game. 36 chain mons and the preseason competitive game modes. So piece to B side. So stuff goes to B side games, chain mon. So let's look at the time on. So the twentieth what's today? Oh, it's today's not yet, yeah, so tomorrow. Uh, Kickstarter launch. The uh, 19th of November. End of the Kickstarter. January. Start of closed alpha for Steam, iOS, and Android. Um, I'm just realizing that you can play it on your phone, I guess, with iOS. Because it's not Mac OS, it's iOS. Anyways, uh, Q3, so quarter 3, 2021. That's going to be the closed beta. May 2022. Full 1.0 launch, including consoles. Of course, this is the timeline right now. Let's see. Here includes all rewards from previous tiers. As is. Except designer tier, which does not include the overseer. Okay. The demo is already on your phone available today. As Cinetech says. So, uh, if you want to go get a, you know, look at a demo. And I'll be definitely downloading it later and, uh, Checking that out, how it plays on the phone, on the uh, iPhone. So, physical rewards are available worldwide. Oh my god, you have plushies. There's so few Monster Tamer games that get plushies. I mean, I know that generally it's not profitable, but there's so there's so many nice designs that would be great plushies. I mean, I still have like a Togepi uh, plushie. It's definitely my favorite, though it's not in my room. Um, it's put away. Uh, so I always love, like, those Especially with good designs, cute designs. But physical rewards are available worldwide. Shipping is calculated after the campaign and varies from country to country. Sensible. Access to the closed alpha is not restricted to one particular out, uh, platform. Your account can be play tested on PC and mobile with a single alpha key, but not simultaneously. Pretty much stopping people from just getting their friends, giving the friends, friends, you know, the key, I guess. So. Plushy, 70 plus uh, euros. Don't know how much it is in USD. Um, I'm going to find out real fast, but I'll have to get the thing up. Okay, so let's go on. Our chip leaf plushie is 12 inches in size and part of our very first official merchandise series. Pictures as a prototype, design and appearance is not final. Art book. Oh, thank you for putting an art book out. Too few things put art books out. Like why? Why is there no like? Even Pokemon, it's not good on putting out like like art books. I hope you all get some uh, con. Okay, it even says right here concepts. So, the art of chain monsters include high quality illustrations, concepts, notes, and comments from the team itself 
231 pages. There's not enough art books with concepts and stuff. The original concept art out there. There needs to be more. So let me euro to USD. We can figure this out real fast. So posters, 100 plus euro. So let's see. 70 euro is going to be about 82 bucks. And uh, 100 euro is about 117 bucks. But poster. Extremely freaking nice. My God. The printed poster is 100 times 70 centimeters in size. I'm all about the, you know, the imperial system. So I don't know about that. <laughs> and features a key visual on the front side and world map on the back. Oh, it's double sided. Soundtrack. The high quality soundtrack of Chain Monsters on a CD. Okay, so here's the Kickstarter tiers. Thank you. For an indie game like ours, every contribution counts. Uh, your help is greatly appreciated. You receive monthly production updates for one euro. Digital alpha. 20 euro. Start playing during closed alpha and give us a valuable feedback that will help us shape the game. Include your name in the game's credits. Start pl Okay, digital alpha. Deluxe. 30 euro. Start playing during closed alpha and listen to our original soundtrack composed by David J. Franco. Includes the Kickstarter exclusive in-game outfit. Starter box, 60 euro. Receive a chip leaf plushie and a printed sticker pack. They even, they even got stickers. Um, Alpha agent. Receive a printed poster of the game world and the exclusive, uh, and the digital art book showcasing exclusive designs, concepts, and commentary. You have 200, which is the collector. Receive an exclusive collector's box, the art bo uh, art book, and all physical items exclusive to Kickstarter. So let's see, Cinetec. The rewards are better viewed on the right side on top page. This. Oh. So. This. Forget about this, apparently. Let me go to the right side. Apparently that has to be replaced. Uh, one of the devs just told me this has to be replaced. So let me go all the way up. Thank you for telling me that instead of me accidentally reading the wrong stuff. <laughs> so you do have the pledge one euro i'm guessing to like 14.99 euro <laughs> um for an indie game like ours every contribution counts so yes uh 15 is digital alpha benefit from early bird discount start playing during closed alpha and give us valuable feedback so you get the alpha access digital uh, wallpaper production updates your name in the game's credits only have 100 of these so with like 455 followers and this being the cheapest one I'm guessing you want if you want this you better be up on it digital alpha start pa playing during closed alpha and give us valuable feedback this is for uh okay hopefully I am back and you can hear me OBS all of a sudden stopped. Uh, but I'm reconnecting. So, no big deal. Anyways, if you didn't catch what I was saying, this is an early bird discount. That's all there is to it. You got 100. There's 455 people already following it, so you'll want to go ahead and get this as fast as you can if you're watching this. You have the digital, uh, or I mean this versus this. Uh, then you have the digital alpha deluxe. Hopefully, OBS doesn't do that. I don't understand what OBS is doing. Um, start playing during closed alpha and listen to our original soundtrack. So you get the Kickstart in, uh, exclusive in-game outfit. You get the exclusive in-game title Alpha Agent. You get digital original soundtrack. <sighs> alpha access, digital wallpaper, production updates, and your name in the game credits. Uh, so you receive a chip leaf plushie, 12 inches, 30 centimeters, whichever one you know. Print star plushie, printed sticker pack, everything that had followed before. And then you also have Alpha Agent, which is 100 euros, receive printed poster of the game world, and the digital... I hope you all cannot hear that, but, uh, more. <laughs> and a digital uh, art book showcasing exclusive designs, concepts, and commentary, poster of the world, and everything from the thing, you know, the tiers before. You also have receive an exclusive collector's box, the art book and all physical items exclusive to the Kickstarter. So the physical art book, exclusive collector's box, and everything that came before. You also have three times alpha access. <sighs> Horrible timing on this uh, moan. You can also pledge 350 euros. Get the starter chain mon and its crystal variation. Oh. 
and join the Founders Club. This is a special place inside the in-court headquarters where all players will be uh, will be able to see you immortalized as a statue. Crystal Starter Chainmon custom in-game appearance in the Founders Club and everything that came before. Voyager, receive an in-game ticket to a mysterious island. Dang it, 500. I really wish I could have got that. <laughs> um, I could have, but... Anyways, receive an in-game ticket to a mysterious island. Super rare, legendary Chainmon. Time-exclusive opportunity. Uh, mysterious in-game ticket. Crystal Chainmon. Everything that comes before it. So, I mean, I think it's pretty freaking awesome. And they have Archon. Receive all three starters in their crystal form. It's insane. Also, all three crystal starters and uh, this is also if you. S oh, it's the same ticket. Yes, I can't believe I already forgot that part. Yes, you are correct, Zenitech. Tech. If you um, back in the first day, then you're going to get that ticket as well. Not so you don't have to spend um, 500 euro or more. You're right. I completely already forgot about that. I, I don't know how I forgot about that, but that is correct. Uh, so you have pledged 250 euro or more from Archon. Receive all three starters in her crystal form. Save all three starters. Uh, mysterious in-game. So you pretty much have everything beforehand. Uh, I've already talked about that, I think. <laughs> and then uh, pledge 1,500 euros or more. You're a special agent, and you help us design a full route. And work closely with the designers to create the content path the name for it. Holy crap. Custom NPC and uh, quest line. And everything before. Plus you have four times alpha access. L listen, I, I, don't, I don't... In 30... I don't have the uh, uh, funds for this. But if you do and you are interested in this game... I mean, earlier I played it. Uh... Th that's honestly awesome. I mean, that's like uh, a freaking dream. Um, but pledge 2,500 euro more, become a nuovo. I don't know, I had a problem saying that. Overseer in the game and take over one of the eight gems. You help us customize the appearance, the dialogue, the squad, and the special mechanics. So you become a nuovo overseer, which I'm guessing is kind of like a. So you, I guess that's one of the gems. Um, all custom MC, everything that comes before. And of course, this is limited to eight, obviously for obvious reasons there's only eight gems so you have pledge 5,000 euro or more help us design a chain mon send us ideas or sketches and work with the team uh, to bring it to life you'll also receive very first one of its kind including all the variations so you design chain mon you know um, custom NPC and quest line and you have the last one if you pledge 8,500 euro a special reward for our partner flow these rewards will be given away in the near future so there's only two of these now you get a design a chain mod custom NPC in quest line five times the custom in-game appearance five times in mysterious in-game ticket five times or fi 50 digital art books 50 uh, Kickstarter exclusive in-game outfits 50 digital original uh, soundtracks 50 digital access or alpha access and 50 wallpapers. Um, so actually, um, of course, send a text in here, but uh, trying to get Lauren Lawrence, and he's asking, you know, does each chain mon has unique stats because of the blockchain, or can all chain mon be trained or bred to the max stats? They do have a part in here. Of course, this is a preview of tomorrow's Kickstarter. Uh, if you want in this, then make sure you. Um, get it in tomorrow because you get the or you can get the early bird discount plus you get the um mysterious island ticket uh trust me there is something in here that talks about this and i know for a fact i know for an absolute fact that's correct um ah darn uh base Okay, so, actually it came up on it. So, Lauren, no base stats. Base stats are gone. So, which makes it possible to take your favorite chain on in the game and make it competitive. 
So instead of different base stats, the connection to the player and the individual values and effort put into each chainmaw makes them unique and increases their strength. So that answers your question. But uh, let's go back up. I mean, if you have more questions, obviously answer. Uh, I mean, answer. What the heck? Ask them. <laughs> uh, so you get the digital art book. I'm guessing you don't get the uh, physical art book. Unless you're going to, I mean, I don't know. But and whoever leave, left a like, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, but I think, oh, do, do, do. Yeah. Okay. Let's go down here. So, core team. Finishing this thing up. It's been a little bit long, but I've been perfectly fine with this. I am intrigued by this game. Um, this reward will probably be removed, as it might be confusing for people. Which reward? I'm just asking. Thank you, Clasher. <laughs> uh, so, we got Maximilian Weber, CEO and Game Director. Lena Hopped. I'm sorry, I am butchering your all's names. I know I am butchering your all's names. I don't know how to pronounce it. Lena Hopped, uh, Art Director. David James Franco, which is the music composer in SFX. Uh, Max Kalbach. Kalbach. Network Architect. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, Pearl Gustira, 2D and concept artist. So that's the team. I think it's pretty impressive. Let me get rid of this base thing up here. Extended team. So Sergio uh, Silva. Uh, I guess it's, it's it. I'm guessing Jonas, not Honus. Uh, Sean, Sean, Sean. Seems sweet. Uh, Harshad Sawale. I know I'm butchering your all's names. I'm sorry. Fabian Weber, John, Jan Miller, Ushkan, Ushkan, Is Isik, uh, and Thomas Betelgeese. And of course, these are partners. Flow, merchandise, Sakami, community. So, content creators. We love and adore and support fan art. Uh, prior to, clo la to launch a closed alpha, we enable our affiliate and Twitch drops system um that <laughs> enables you to benefit directly from any sale purchase or monetary exchange that happens through unique affiliate code well i've been doing youtube live but uh i'm gonna be doing twitch for <laughs> twitch drops i can't lie uh just for that reason alone <laughs> So it's been designed from the ground up and extended and improved upon step by step. So eventually there will be expansions that not only extend the playable game and new continents and Jmons, but also change the game's looks and plays. New mechanics, uh, events, quests, and experimental features will find its way. Let's see. Okay. Um... So this is releasing, or not releasing, starting tomorrow. I've had gameplay on it. Hopefully you were here to see my gameplay. I want to thank Cinetech for being here, for sending me this link. Um, if you're here and you want to support it, make sure you tune in tomorrow to get it. There's 455 followers. You ain't going to have much time. Period. To get this limited, 100 Pretty much five for five less euros to get the digital alpha, which gives you alpha access, digital wallpaper, production updates, and all that. Uh, you're welcome, Lawrence. Uh, and like I said, thank you for Cinetech for sending me this, you know, preview. You know, um, I would definitely recommend if you weren't here earlier, go check out my gameplay. It's just like a sandbox right now, like a standalone sandbox, but I like the idea. There's so many, I, don't know, I just like it. I, I, there's not much else I can say about it. I just like it. Um, I was talking about when I was playing it. But I'm going to make this its own video. Um, so, if you're here, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, actually, I got a Reddit. So, 
send it tech if you want to ever post any updates um uh, it's reddit.com you know it's just our monster taming is what it is uh it's different from monster taming world but this is monster taming uh i'm trying to keep it active build up the community there i've already posted well me too uh i'm gonna post again their discord link uh, I'll have it in the description if you're watching this in the video. Go ahead and join it. I mean, I think I've said all I can say about this. I, I like the game. I like the uh, concepts. Obviously, it's early development. That's fine. I Means it's pre-Kickstarter. This is more than what a lot of people have pre-Kickstarter. You know, sometimes it's like, oh, we had our Kickstarter, and nine months later, we finally have anything out. <laughs> um. Awesome. Thanks for joining that, Lawrence. Uh I think that's about all. I really liked this game. I did not expect to have a uh, as fun of a stream as I did. Or as long a stream, but both is freaking awesome. I can't lie. So anyways, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, you know, go check out Reddit. My subreddit, Monster Taming. Go join their Discord. And... Wishlist it on Steam, as well as go check out the Kickstarter if you're watching this within 30 days. But that's all for, I think, this one. I'm going to do, be doing more streams. Uh, once Closed Alpha comes out, I'm definitely going to be doing more streams. But it's going to be on Twitch, since they're going to be doing Twitch drops. But that's all. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I didn't expect, honestly, I came in expecting maybe zero people to watch me. So thank you for watching. That's all for this stream, and I will see you all in uh, another video or another stream. <laughs> Alright, bye.